the enhancement group has a chance for the, for the students to lead exactly what they want to find out about uh, and to demonstrate that they are able to do that to a, to a very high level, which they are, uh, it's working really well. The next steps with that is to expand that, uh, so it's a, it's a more hub-based programme, but the students are still able to lead that. What we did at the start was to get the students to really think about things they were interested in, things they were passionate about, um, skills that they have, and then we looked at how they could turn one or more of those elements into an area of investigation. So I'm looking into the marine biology side of like coral reefs and the marine life and stuff like that, and I'm also incorporating marine photography because I, I, I like standing behind a camera, but I kind of want to involve my passion for marine biology too. So outside of the classroom, we are encouraging them to seek external sources of information. So for example, um, yesterday we went to the museum and had a look at some ancient artefacts um, for the students who are looking at Greek mythology. And they also interviewed um, the head of classics at the university um, and our other student who's doing the marine biology is doing a dive course um, and she's doing experiments at home looking at um, how coral is damaged by carbon emissions. Um, well I think this enhancement program it helps because it's a chance where I can work on something I'm passionate about so I can dig deeper. I, last Friday I went to the pool to work on my photography skills and then I'm going in November, I'm going to do a dive course. I've contacted the Marine Studies Centre down in Otago, which, I'll probably, which I'm hoping to go and visit, so I can talk to maybe one of their marine biologists. We have another student who is looking at uh, genetic modification, so we're encouraging him to go out um, and talk to people in industry and also go to the university and get some contacts there. So they are doing a lot of things in the classroom but we're encouraging them as well to go out and it makes it a bit more authentic because it's linked more to real life rather than just sitting in a room and looking at things on the internet and coming up with information that way. Along the way we want to start to get involved with the industry more and more and we're just looking for those um, opportunities to make those links, places they can go to and people they can talk to in the community and um, go into local industries and things like that. I think the project-based learning has a really positive impact on their well-being because they feel in control. So for them to be able to go out and design their project and come up with their own plan I think makes them feel um, in charge, it makes them feel like they're you know, challenging themselves. We've spent a long time um, sort of being in control of that, that learning process and what we're trying to do is, is slowly put it back to the students because one thing we've learned in the last couple of terms is students can do it if they're given the chance.